around. He looks wound up and tight. There's a hard right hand. And he is the defending champion. Jab by Margarita off the gloves of Mosley. Big overhand right by Mosley. Sugar Shane Mosley possessed a sharp, powerful right hand that took him to the Hall of Fame, and he landed this big punch using a few basic tactics that could be used by anybody. Of course, the most basic way to set up the right hand is with a jab. This jab is merely a distraction to occupy Margarito and distract him so that he could follow up with the right hand. This jab isn't meant to do any damage. The thing is, at higher levels of boxing, jabs often invite jab counters, and Mosley slips his head off the center line as he jabs to avoid the counter jab from Margarito. He also slightly level changes to hide the windup of his incoming right hand. And there you see the right hand from Mosley hit Margarito clean, countering his jab. And you notice that Margarito did not see this punch coming, and this is partly due to Mosley slightly level changing right before the punch to hide his windup. Setting up the right hand with a jab to the body also works well to bring your opponent's guard and their attention down so you could come up over the top. And due to Mosley's incredible hand speed, he's able to catch Mayweather with his pants down and land the right hand. Mayweather lowered his guard due to the body jab and didn't step away which is why this punch lands. The first round, it looks wound up and tight. There's a hard right hand! And the last tactic I want to talk about is looping the right hand. As beginners, we're taught not to loop our right hand. However, this is a very useful tool in that it allows you to attack around your opponent's guard. This is especially useful if your opponent is the same stance as you, so like orthodox versus orthodox or southpaw versus southpaw, since their lead hand has a good chance of being held forward slightly so you could go right around it. As you can see, Mosley loops the right hand around Oscar De La Hoya's guard, but why does such a wide punch work on a world-class boxer? Even though the punch is wide, someone like Oscar De La Hoya, who won't back down and won't step back, is there to be hit. This is a more unorthodox punch to throw, so a traditional boxing stance with the lead hand forward can be susceptible to getting hit by this if you're not looking out for it. Since straight punches travel further than looping punches, a simple step back or pull back depending on the range can nullify this. Of course you could also set the looping right hand up with a jab to bring your opponent's attention forward in front of them to straight punches so you could come around and hit them with the looping punch. As you see the jab holds Oscar in place while he shoots the right hand around the guard. And of course, putting it all together and throwing the right hand as a quick one-two combination is a recipe for success if you mix it up with all of the other tactics mentioned up until now. As you can see, the initial jab is slipped, but by shooting the right hand with no hesitation after, Mosley will catch Manuel Gomez before Gomez even brings his head back into position. And this quick right hand smokes Gomez and folds him like fresh laundry. And that's going to do it for this one. Thank you all for watching. Subscribe for more and be on the lookout for a bigger video next week.